Hi guys, it's Clive here. Now, six weeks ago, beginning of February, sometime there, my new Pixhawk arrived. Now I just put it on this board here, just so that I could hold all the components together, um, so they don't fall apart. And obviously, uh, as the day it arrived, the first thing I did was plug it into Mission Planner, connect it up, update the firmware or install the firmware, and it all worked to dream. The GPS, the compass, the, uh, the transmitter, the data transmitter, everything worked, and that was great. Now, I didn't have an opportunity to fly it just then, so I put it away, and about six weeks later, around the 22nd of March, I pulled it out again and was going to start setting it up and putting it in my quadcopter, quadcopter frame. So I plugged it into Mission Planner. Uh, it all connected perfectly well. The Mavlink all set up and talked, but of course Mission Planner informed me that there was a firmware update for the Pixhawk. So I had to disconnect because you can't connect firmware with the Mavlink connected. So I disconnected the Mavlink, went through the process of updating the firmware. The firmware updated all successfully, no problem, the musical beeps, um, okay once the musical beeps were completed, okayed, and from that point on it has not connected to Mission Planner. The Mavlink will not work. Um, dug around in the forums, the, obviously there's the forum with the uh, blown regulator on the 2.5 and 2.6. Um, this is the Pixhawk, don't know if it's related, but what I have since discovered is if I disconnect the compass lead, if I disconnect that compass lead from the, um, what is it, the, uh, the I2C connector, then it works. If that compass lead is plugged in, Pixhawk won't even boot up. There won't be any sound, the little flashing light won't go, and of course the Mavlink connection doesn't work. But the moment I disconnect the compass and power it on, then it all boots up, the status light lights up, and the connection is made to Mission Planner. So, somebody out there, please, I need some ideas. Um, I've had people come back to various posts and ask, did I plug the connections the wrong way around? Well, no, the connections were already in and it worked properly. It connected to Mission Planner. I had no changes with connections. All I did was update the firmware and from that point on, the problem began. So it's nothing to do with connections and wires being in the wrong position or the wrong way around. The thing that I did have is I probably didn't have a battery connected. I was probably only using the USB to power it at that point. And uh, with the 2.5 and the 2.6 uh, APM, there's a problem, there's a known problem. But the experts have told me that Pixhawk, this has never been reported. So if somebody out there could please help and shed some light, I don't know whether I need to replace the Compass GPS unit or whether I need to replace the Pixhawk. Let me just show you exactly what I mean here. So I have the compass disconnected from the Pixhawk and in that state if I power on we get the musical tones and we get the status LED lighting up. Um, and things are obviously happening now. If I take this and I plug it into Mission Planner, I don't have any problem connecting. Um, the Mavlik all works perfectly, um, as does the wireless data transmitter. That also connects, no problem. However, if we plug in the compass, ensure that we've got the uh, cables the right way around. We don't want the audience all jumping to conclusions. And this time we power on. Once again, you get the musical note plus another and 
there is no status light. That light doesn't light up anymore. Um, and if I try and connect to Mission Planner, no way Jose, it does not want to connect. Help. All offers of help greatly received. Thanks.